After two tryouts and three months of trials, the Cayman Islands Volleyball Federation have announced their first boys and girls national indoor teams. With the popularity of the Private School Association Volleyball League, CIVF say the time was right to launch the initiative and dive into an already packed amateur sports landscape here in Cayman. We spoke with coaches as to how they plan to make Cayman's newest national program success. As over 40 youth volleyball hopefuls pack the John Gray Gymnasium for the second and final tryout for Cayman's first national indoor boys and girls squads, girls head coach Mark Ray says it was a vital initiative to revitalize the program's aging core. One of the challenges that we had is that our national team was the oldest, the men, they were the oldest team in the competition. We were playing against teams at average age of 21, 22, 23, and our average age was 38. But who are Cayman's next volleyball stars? Ray says they've spent months gathering interest in hopes of putting together a reliable nucleus. We, we have a good mix of players. We have players who've been playing for some time, and we have very new players that are showing a lot of potential. So the idea is to build a nucleus where we have experienced players and those who are projects. And from first glance, the program has identified some of Cayman's top amateur athletes from other sports. But Ray says volleyball comes in peace. So they don't have to choose, but what they can do is they can participate and they can see which sport kind of draws them in, right, and, and where they have the opportunities. Part of volleyball's biggest challenge over the years has been getting the sport into schools and keeping it there. Ray says, however, they're willing to upgrade the skills of physical education teachers as well. The Volleyball Federation has offered the Department of Education the opportunity to have Coach Rick, who's kind of heading up the entire program, to do some professional development sessions um, at the April professional development for PE teachers so that they can get a feel of how they can use volleyball to teach skills. With all the framework in place, boys coach Marcus Patterson says the players who made this team are the best ones, not just the ones that showed up. Coachability, being a team player, and of course skills comes in there. But um, we're looking at those core values um, which will help build team, good team camaraderie and uh, in an effort to grow um, this, this sport of volleyball on the island. And although Cayman's athletes may not be choosing volleyball to start, Patterson says with the right coaching and support, they will come around. So volleyball um, is somewhat of a late blooming um, sport, if, if you will. So considering football and, and the other more traditional sport, kids start at a very young age. We're trying to re-educate youths. In, in a way that they haven't been educated to volleyball. Three, two, one. Okay. Okay.